I said the report must 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 have, must have had to cut, and the report has cut. It has cut the issues into pieces, and the report has not only dealt with the financial mismanagement of the county, but it has also captured many other things. For instance, the report has captured the relationship between the county assembly and the executive. And from the report, it is very clear that the relationship between the county assembly and the executive is very poor. And this is the reason why we have not seen development, because you realize that the county assembly must approve the budget before they are implemented. The law which we passed in Parliament, PFM Act 2015, outlines how budgets are supposed to be made. And the law says that the budget making process is an executive, uh, is an executive responsibility. It's not a county assembly responsibility. Even as in Parliament, National Assembly, we don't make the budget. The budgets are made by the executive. It is brought to us. We can only amend 1% of that budget as presented to us by the executive. Here in CIA, the report says that once the budget has been presented to the county assembly by the executive, the county assembly reorganizes the budget completely and delete some, remove some, and they bring their own budget proposals. That is against the law. And therefore, we want to urge the Speaker of the County Assembly that now I used to blame Rasanga for underdevelopment of Sierra. Now I know who should take responsibility. The person who took responsibility for the underdevelopment of Sierra is Mr. Kode, who has been the Speaker and since, the, since we were born. He has been the Speaker since we were born. So we must allow the governor who has been elected by the people to make the budgets so that the budgets are uh, resonate very well with the needs of our people. Because you know the speaker is not elected. He does not look for any votes anyway. So why, do, why, why how can he make the budget for us? So this is something that must be rectified and must be amended. And we are going to follow up to ensure that the coming budget is made by the executive and it is, it is only amended by 1% by the, by the, by the county assembly. The other issues that the, uh, the, the report talks about are things to do with the, what we need to do as a county to allow us to see progress and development. For instance, on the area of agriculture, the report has outlined what the county needs to do so that we can have food, land, and county. On areas of health, the way we are implementing our health uh, agenda is not right. That is why we are not succeeding. That's why in Sierra today, there are basic services which you cannot get here. You have to go to Kisumu or Eldoret. The report captures that also. Plus, issues to do with ghost workers, people who are just earning money and they are not in the system, they are not serving the county. It is, we are going to read the report more and more. But this is my basic reaction uh, as of today. I will make more reactions as I read the report.